How often are you guys contacted by fans asking for sequels to your games? Yeah, <laughs> we get a steady stream of um, people. I, almost every post that we put up on Hellblade, there's someone asking for DMC2. When's, <laughs> where's that coming? Or Enslaved or whatever. Like, it just keeps coming back. It's hard to understand that we don't own those properties and we don't have control over where or how those sequels would happen. But we do with Hellblade. If it feels like we can take Hellblade somewhere new and the fans agree, I think we can then action that kind of stuff. Or do a new game, you know, whatever, I don't know, but we just have no control over that Does stuff. the team just laugh or what's the reaction for all those comments? I, I would, they wouldn't, they don't laugh. I think there's a lot of people in the studio that would like to make a new DMC. There's a lot of people that would love to make a new Enslaved or a new Heavenly Sword. In some ways, and I'll say it, in some ways this is sort of like a spiritual successor to Heavenly Sword mixed in with Enslaved. You know, it, it's sort of us taking ownership of what we do and how we make games and our sensibilities. Like the aspects of those games that you guys felt most passionate about. Yeah. Can you rule out the possibility of you guys ever making a sequel to any of those games? No, no, no. I like, we occasionally still prod the various publishers and go, what about this, what about that? Have you thought about this? You know, I hope with the right treatment that that, that it, they could come back. I don't know. Do you guys have like planning documents or some potential sequels further along just on the developer side? No, we had some ideas, but we never really planned it out. I mean, even on Heavenly Sword, we had an idea that in the sequel you would play as Kai and it would be her story. Funnily enough, you'd play Kai and you'd go to hell. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. And so that's part of the inspiration here? Perhaps, yeah. I only just really thought about that. But yeah, I think I wanted to do something darker and about mental health and about worry. In, in a way, like Forgiven did for, for the cowboy. Because I'm growing up, I think I just wanted to do something that felt a bit more grounded and a bit more grown up. So if Hellblade succeeds what you wanted to, in theory, the team would kind of get that expression out of an enslaved two or a heavenly sword two, so they wouldn't need to go back to that publisher. <laughs> yeah, but uh, in a way, like, you know, it's, there's been brilliant games. Horizon is a brilliant game, and I think it, maybe that's also taken over that mantle or aesthetic, and maybe it wouldn't make sense to do an enslaved two now in that vein. Maybe it would have to be something different I don't know creatively from your perspective or do you think from Namco's business perspective they're like oh no this is purely my perspective it's like um, it's what they've done is outstanding and beautiful and it's got similar stuff in it you know so I, I don't know if I'd want to go up against Horizon now like yeah. I think we've got to find a different angle do you know what that angle would be no no <laughs> I don't although I've been looking a lot into researching and reading a lot about AI I find it deeply interesting. Really? So I think going back to sci-fi at some point in the studio's future would be fun? I think so. I okay. think so. Just taking the more sci-fi angle, less the ruined world yeah. recovery. I think there's a lot of stuff about AI that's not being explored. It's all about empathy and robots and stuff. And I think there's a lot of aspects to AI which is deeply fascinating that's not being explored. So you're not ruling out any sequels. You're still poking every once in a while. Still is poking. Is there one do you think that might ever happen? Are we talking like 1% chance or 30% chance? I'm thinking more like 1%. For all of them? At this point, yeah. <laughs> oh maybe. Boy. 1 to 10% maybe. Okay. Which one one's to closest 10. to 10%? Oh, I can't say. I can't, <laughs> well, if I say, I'll probably jinx it, right? So. <laughs> Not in a million years. But you guys, it seems like the most passionate would be for a DMC too? I think there's a mix. I think people love the games we've done for different reasons. I think there is a passion for DMC, and I think there is, there's also a passion for Enslaved. I, I think that's what we want to do. It's like, like create passion for stuff, for products. Whether it's new or old, you know, a sequel, it sort of doesn't matter. And so, do you see Hellblade as a self-contained story? It's definitely a self-contained story. I think it's probably unwise to ever plan for a sequel when you haven't proved out the first one. But it's set in Norse mythology and there's plenty of material. We've only taken one aspect of Norse, Norse mythology, which is the, the Norse hell, Niflheim. They, in fact, their word for this place is hell, H-E-L, not H-E-L-L, -L, which is sort of weird. And the characters and myths in there, the ones that you don't see or hear about, you know, everyone hears about Thor and Odin and stuff, but there are nine worlds in Norse mythology and they're strangely weird and compelling and I, and I think, you know, in the vein of trying to do things that is a bit off the beaten path, we picked 
this particular underworld. And so there's potential to explore more underworlds, you know, of Norse mythology in the future. But see how fans like Hellblade. Or see if it makes sense, yeah. If this is a self-contained story in one part of it, see if it makes sense to explore more with other characters or whoever. Like, I don't know, I haven't really thought that far. But the more I look into Norse mythology, the more I realize how unexplored it is.